more times than not, we haven't been finished with our film when we get the call that we're in. So first and foremost, you have to finish the film. You gotta finish your cut, you gotta get the, the score done, the mix done, the color corrected and everything hopefully in time. In the case of Toys House this year, we showed up with our print, um, we premiered Saturday night, we showed up with our print on Friday. And um, it actually turned out that it was checked in LA and there was a problem with the print, so we showed up with a second print on Friday evening. So that's how late we were, and um, none of us had seen the final color or the final mix or anything. Um, so it was it was very harrowing. So you got to finish your movie. You got to get it here in time. I've been in that situation before. Little Miss Sunshine. Back, those were back in the days when it was a film print. I carried the reels on the plane with me the day of our premiere. Um, that's how close we were, and that that just happens a lot. You also have to arrange for um, a sales agent. You have to arrange for a publicist. You have to arrange for hopefully some kind of gathering for your cast and crew before and or after your film. So you try to get a sponsor to help you with that. Then you have to arrange for all the travel for the cast and crew. Where is everybody going to stay? All the hotels have these ridiculous, you know, seven night minimums. Um, how can you get them in and out in one day? How do you accommodate everybody's schedule? How do you make the press schedule work? Working with all the publicists of all the actors who are rejecting most of the press requests that you get um, and trying to massage them to do as much as they possibly can. We develop in many different ways. There are, as a financier, other producers or agents or managers or um, distributors will bring us projects that are, that are pretty far along that, that we may get involved in. We don't just finance films, but we, we do look for projects that, that we can be active producers in that we can also finance. So that's one way. We also um, develop stuff from um, books, from magazine articles, from ideas that, that we come across where we work with writers or writers come and pitch us things, directors come and pitch us things. And that process varies project by project. I joined the PGA because I was looking for colleagues. I was looking for a community and um, uh, a place to connect with other producers in a way to, in a way to um, be able to share information and share experience and find resources that could help me as, as, a, as a producer. The reason that, um, that I became a lot more active in the, in the PGA um, and ran for the, the chairmanship of, of the East um, is that my primary focus is I really want to try to make the Guild more relevant, important, and essential to independent producers, which is what I do. Um, and I think that there's no other organization that has the strength in numbers, that has the professional staff, that has the resources um, to, that, uh, that can be used and marshaled to address the, the concerns of, the, of an independent producer and, or of any producer. Well, it's really important that the Guild has, has a presence at, at Sundance and at other festivals because um, we, as I, as I was just saying, we have to show the producing community that we are there to support them. That if you become a member of the Producers Guild, you will become part of a community that will make your job and your life better and more effective. And we have to show up at the place where the producers are.